hi so i asked on my instagram story if um you guys wanted to see this on youtube or on tiktok so you're getting it on youtube so um this is my 2023 reading recap and i know i'm like literally a week late in um 2023 i read 52 books total including like rereads and stuff so let's get to i have my um 2023 book journal right here too you can see all my books right here don't look at them i started 2023 with broken throne this is um it's like a collection of like novellas and different stuff from the um red queen universe and um because it's just kind of like a random collection of novellas i'm not gonna give it a rating um the second book i read was the stolen air i rated this one five stars um i'm really excited for the next book to come out i love holly black i love the folk of the air series it's like one of my favorite series I've ever read. It was like the first thing that I ever read that actually got me into reading. So this was a really good book and I loved it and it got me. This is the reason that I got back into reading and I was able to read so much within those first few months of the year. So thank you, Holly. Of course, after reading The Stolen Air and that in kind of like the Fork of the Air like universe, I had to reread my fave. So I read The Pearl Prince, Wicked King, and Queen of Nothing. So the last book that I read in January is probably the worst book I read the entire year. Um, one of the worst books I've ever read, just plain period. I am shocked that I actually got through this book and it only took me four days to read it. Um, but it was truly terrible and I hated it and it was a horrendous experience through and through. So it was Kingdom of the Feared. This series has so much hype on TikTok, um, which the first book wasn't bad. I think I rated it like three or four stars, but like it just after the first book got like progressively worse. So this is definitely the worst book in the series and I actually <laughs> like hate this book with a passion. I rated this one star. This was truly like the worst book I read the entire year. Starting off with February, Crooked Kingdom. What a way to start February. Devastated. So I rated this five stars, obviously. I had a lot of five star reads. A lot of five star reads. The next book I read was King of Scars. Um, This book, didn't take me as long as it felt like it was taking me to read but it felt like it took forever to read it was a really good book and i loved it and i love nikolai he's like my favorite book man ever um but this was such a slow book and i love nikolai and i love zoya and i love them together but um in my um journal i gave it five stars but i'm actually gonna change it to four the next book that I read in February was this big chunk monster of a book, Rule of Wolves. Um, this, again, so good, took forever to read. It took me 11 days to read this, which in hindsight is not really all that long, but when you're trying to read a different book every single week, uh, it feels like forever. Um, I gave this one four stars. I have a problem where I can barely remember things that happen in books, um, so I don't really remember what happened in this book. The um, next and final book that I read in February, I was trying to get into a um, <laughs> like a summer spring kind of mood. I don't know because every time it hits February and it starts to like warm up a little bit, I'm just like, oh, it's springtime already, guys. So I read Sunkissed. Um, I really, I loved this book. It was like, it's not anything like, oh my gosh, so crazy and like spectacular and like world changing or whatever, but it was just like a fun, cutie little read and I had so much fun reading it and it was like, I don't know, it was just so good. 
I gave it five stars. No, I didn't. I gave it four stars. I'm a liar. Sorry. First book that I read or finished in March was Powerless by Lauren Roberts. This book is getting like a whole bunch of attention and hype right now on um, TikTok. Like it's nothing mind blowing. It's nothing so super different. Like it's a fantasy book and the love interest is hot or whatever. Like I honestly, this kind of felt like a, like a huge, like just collection of like tropes and stuff. Like it was a good book. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it. I had fun reading it. Sorry, if you hear buzzing, it's really windy and my window does that when it gets really windy but um i gave it four stars like i did enjoy reading it it's just it didn't change my world or anything so next book that i read was the stars lead to you this one was kind of crazy um it it's like a second chance romance but then it doesn't have a happy ending you know that made no sense but it was a second chance romance but they don't get together in the end i hated the ending of this book because i literally i told maya i was like if i'm gonna read this whole like romance book like it just felt like it was pointless when i got to the end because why did i read this whole thing about like oh her trusting him again and everything and then and then they didn't even end up together because he like broke her heart or whatever again I gave this one four stars for some reason i actually honestly i think i'm, I'm gonna change my rating to three stars because i don't think it deserves four stars be a drastic lighting change in the video and it's honestly just because i um was filming like in the evening and then i had to like wait before i could like film between the next clip because i had to call my friend about something so just ignore ignore the drastic light change so the next book i read this one um i don't remember what my qualms were with this book because i read it so long ago but I gave it three stars. Moving on to the next book. I don't actually have the physical book. Um, so I'm just going to hold up my Kindle and put a picture over my Kindle um, right here. It's Strange the Dreamer. Oh my gosh, it took me forever. It took me forever to actually get through that book. Yeah, I mean, it was a good book. It just, it took me forever to like actually get through this like like the main like chunk of the book like took me forever because it was really slow it was a lot of like we're on a journey and it's just like i hate that part of like fantasy books i hate when it's just like 400 pages of them like traveling like girl let's get to the gist of it so i gave that three stars the next book um again don't have a physical copy i read it on my phone we'll put it right here um yeah this is a wattpad book what about it these next three books are read reads. The reason that I read them is because I knew there were like some of my top reads of 2022, but I remember nothing about them. And my friend would, had read them and she'd be like talking to me about them. And I'd be like, I don't remember girls. So I was like, you know, I think I need to reread these books. So I did, um, it is the inheritance games series i love these books i'm a jennifer lynn barnes girl like all three of them i gave five stars and you can see there um she really likes them i don't really have a whole lot to say about them they're good go read it so i read four books in april so that covered like all of them except for one so another wapad book i don't remember why i read this so i'm not even gonna say anything um May, June, and July, I read a whole bunch of books. Starting off with a banger. A Girl's Guide to Murder. I love this series. It's so good. It's so good. Pip and Robbie. Ah! Obviously, I read the whole series. Um. Except it's not so obvious because I'm a huge offender of not reading an entire series. All of them got five stars. They were incredible super fast paced reads super super good um i'm really excited for the show i'm so excited for the show this one low-key devastating like this one's crazy so much happens in this insane so next this was a book that i feel like took over this summer the summer of broken rules this was a fun little book did it as a like a book club um she was cutesy, fun little summer read. Four stars. 
The next book is just like a little mini novella because I love um, a sorcery of thorns. Okay, the last book of May. This book, honestly. <sighs> okay, first of all, her name's Olivia. How cool is that? Um, Low-key disappointed. It just wasn't as good as I was hoping it'd be. Um, three stars. So moving on to June. I really need to speed this up. I read this book. Um, this one, this one was really cute. I liked this one. I liked the ending. It was super cute. I uh, gave it four stars. And then ah, we get into my favorite reads of the entire year. The Natural Series. This series, if you like the Inheritance games, you need to read this series. It's by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is why she is my favorite author because of this series, honestly. It is like crazy good, crazy insane. There's so many like plot twists and stuff. Jennifer Lynn Barnes also loves a good love triangle. All of these got five stars, yeah. After those, the next book that I read, don't have it, read it on my Kindle. Next book that I read was the novella that takes place after all of these books. Um, so the next book I read was Anna and the French Kiss. This book, I don't understand why it has so much hype. I hate like a cheating trope. Like, it's just not, not my thing. I mean, like there were some parts where I was like, oh, giggling and like kicking my feet and whatnot but it's just like not my thing i give it three stars and the last book i read in june was truly devious i was on like a a mystery a mystery kick this year if you can't tell this one super fun dark academia vibes gave it four stars though so starting off july next book for truly devious the vanishing stare I didn't like this one as much as Truly Devious. I gave it three stars. And then the next book that I read was The Hand on a Wall. It was good. Four stars. And then the next book that I read in July was Naturals. Again, I read this one as a reread. Um, um, a book I read for school, which Honestly, I really hated that book. It was terrible. The takes were bad. It was just a horrendous book, so I'm not. And then I read Happy Place by Emily Henry. <laughs> this book was so good. I honestly, when I'm reading a book, I like to stay in YA. Um, I don't know why. I just don't like reading adult books, but Happy Place was so good. I loved this book. It was <laughs> Happy Place has my heart. It's a happy place. I gave it four stars. One of my favorite reads of the year. The next book is another reread, Killer Instinct. So the next book I read is another one of my favorites of the year. One of Us is Lying. Another mystery. Again, I was in my mystery phase, okay? I rated that. Oh, I only gave it four stars. That's crazy. That's a crazy take. I love One of Us is Lying. It was really good. The last book I read in July was One of Us is Next. Read it on my Kindle. Um, gave that one four stars as well. The first book I read in August is One of Us is Back. The last of One of Us is Next series. I gave that one. Oh, I gave that one five stars. Which, honestly, yeah. But the second book that I read in August, which is also the final book I read in August, is Nothing More to Tell. Um, I was really feeling that author. I gave that one four stars. Um, I have like a whole bunch of books from her. So into September, which apparently I started this book in like towards the end of July, but it is the last thing he told me. This book actually straight up took me forever to read. Um, I read a whole bunch of books in between and then um, it took me two months to read this book apparently. So, you know, it was okay it was just really slow gave it three stars didn't enjoy it all that much the next book i read in september was they wish they were us i loved this book this was a really good book actually i do remember this one again in my mystery era this year it was a good book gave it five stars so the next book the last book i read in september was this winter um 
super cute little novella. I love Nick and Charlie, they're so cute. So the only book that I read in October was this one. This book is so good. I, I don't know why, it's just like, I feel like reading it in October was like the right choice because it was such like the witchy vibes and like, oh, everything so good. Loved it, such a fun read, five stars. I only read two books in November. So first one was The Witch Haven. This is a reread because I read this in 2021, but I have the um, second one because it's a duology, which I'm really glad I did because it's so good, uh, five stars. And then I read, of course, The Witch Hunt. So this is the last book I read in October. Again, five stars. Um, okay, and now we're in December. I read three books in December. So I was reading The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes and it was taking me forever to get through. So during, like, it got to a point where I was like, you know what, I think I just need to read something else. And I decided I was gonna do a reread. Um, so I reread Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Then after I read that, um, I read Heartstopper, Volume 5, because she came out so obviously. We're finally at the last book that I read in 2023, and it is another reread. It was Good Girl, Bad Blood. We did it. That is all 52 books that I read this year. Um, if you're my friends, um, just know you voted for this to be a YouTube video, so you get to hear me blab on for probably like 30 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up.